All right, so today is Easter, and I figured today would be the perfect day to make a big announcement for the channel. Um, because of the new YouTube guidelines, uh, basically possibly making it almost impossible to have a firearms review channel, I've decided to make a big change to the channel. Um, I'm no longer going to be doing what I was doing. Um, I know I did a lot of firearms, a lot of different different holsters and stuff like that, and the occasional uh, political message, but I'm happy to announce that we're taking the channel in a brand new direction, and I hope that uh, all my subscribers and everybody and my viewers will follow me along on this new adventure, and I look forward to, uh, you know, ha having the channel grow. Um, in fact, there's, you know, I feel that the YouTube uh, universe is saturated with reviews on the firearms and stuff like that and different equipment but I feel there's one aspect of the firearm that uh, every every firearm has but almost nobody reviews so uh, with that being said I'm going to do my first review for the new channel all right so starting out my first review for the uh, new and improved channel um, as I said, there's a lot of reviews out there on different firearms and different holsters and such. So I figured I would hit an untapped portion of the market. And let's start out. So, what I'm going to show, you see here a nice firearm case, right? You know, most people, they'll take the gun out of the case and they'll review it. And they'll, you know, you'll never see the case again. So, I've decided to start reviewing firearm cases. Let's start with this Walther case. Now Walther is a very simple case, uh, very sleek, very clean, very ergonomic. Uh, a lot of different cases like the Smith & Wesson cases, they're much bigger, much more flamboyant, whereas Walther is very simple. Let's open it up, shall we? So I'm going to open it up and as you can see it's a foam insert top and bottom and they come, you got a spot for your lock, you've got a spot for your different firearm components. Now we're not reviewing firearms so there is no firearm in here just the case and uh, this is for the Walther P99 firearm would go there and now as far as quality of foam it's a, it's a pretty good quality of foam um, I have seen slightly better but it is nice to see that the um, case is in fact cut for the gun so everything fits in its own little home it's a it's a quite nice case very very sparse very utilitarian outlook on a case. Now, all right, we'll move on to our next one. Uh, as I was talking about something like a Smith & Wesson, which is a very nice case, you see compared to the Walther, this is a very simple, uh, which is a very simple case. This is very rugged looking, very bulky. This is for uh, Model 29. And so let's open it up. And as you can see, while the case is much bigger, um, it's not as nice on the inside. You have your typical slot for your pamphlets. They do give you paper for the case, but as far as the gun itself, the bottom is just normal foam. There is no cut for the gun. So not quite as nice as the Walther case, but it'll definitely do the job. And it is nice having that paper to wrap it to uh, help keep moisture away. So, uh, you know, a very, a very big flamboyant case, but the insides aren't as nice as, say, the Walther case. So, let's move on. Oh, and I forgot to mention this case does have a hole in it for the lock. Now, uh, not everybody gives you a hard case. Um, some guns, this is, this is a Ruger box. Now, this is just a cardboard box. Uh, this is for a Ruger Mark IV competition. And when you open it up, it's very sparse inside. The gun comes in a plastic bag, wrapped in and uh, soaked in oil, and you just have a spot for your firearm, which obviously is not in here because we're not reviewing firearms anymore, and a spot there inside there that comes out and your loaded, uh, your um, loader and magazine and such are in there. So Ruger very. Very simplistic box. Uh, it's a nice box. I mean, it's, you know, I like the white with the red accent, and they put Ruger in nice big letters, and then, you know, on the back you've got your information. So, a very sparse box, but 
you know, a, a nice, it, it does the job, you know. Um, now here's, here's one that's kind of in between. This is a Colt case. Um, this is for a Colt Commander 1911. And this is kind of in between. Um, it's a nice case because it's got a nice audible locking on it. Um, whereas some cases like the Smith & Wesson, the uh, clamps are a little bit uh, flimsy. These are nice clamps. They come and it comes open real nice. And this case is nice because it has a spot for your chamber flag in there. And it has a spot for uh, your booklets and whatnot. And then you've got a nice spot here all lined with foam for your gun and if wanted empty magazines. Um, so the Colt is kind of a nice case and definitely, you know, it, it, it gets everything done. It's not as form fitting as say the Walther case is, but it's a nice in between between that and the Smith and Wesson. And obviously, you know, I said uh, chamber flag spot, which is nice. So overall, the Colt's kind of a nice case. Once again, snaps closed and just, you know, a compact little case. Uh, final one we're going to look at here. Uh, this is this is a car box. Now, car is interesting because this is the car, uh, this is the box for the car C3 or CW380, which comes in just a regular box. Whereas if you get the P380, it comes in just a normal case. So let's open the box. Now the box, compared to the gun, you'll see, obviously there is no gun in it, but you can see the spot in the box is quite small compared to the box itself. So they kind of use a generic box for most of their handguns, and you just get the different foam insert. And this has a spot for its little lock and trigger guard and all that, and then your booklet kind of uh, goes on top, and then your foam... Uh, insert. So, um, like I said, this is the new channel direction we're going. Uh, we looked at five cases today. Uh, I'm going to hope to try and put out uh, a video or two a week on doing different cases. Um, I think next time we might look at uh, maybe some rifle boxes and cases, you know, uh, see what they look like, and uh, we'll go from there. You know, if uh, any comments or anything, anybody has any ideas on what other cases I could review, um, I, I welcome your comments, and I always look forward to hearing from my vo uh, viewers. So, um, have a good day, and uh, happy April 1st.